The measuring instrument shown here is the micrometer scroll gauge. It is used in taking measurements of small lengths. It has a knob which is turned while trying to take measurements and this knob is called the ratchet. This is the spindle, the one that turns and moves closer to the anvil which is the stable part of it. The micrometer scroll gauge has two scales which are the main scale and the vernier scale. While trying to take measurements, you turn the knob appropriately such that the distance between the spindle and the anvil will fit exactly with the size of the that the zero mark on the vernier scale is in line with a particular line here, a particular horizontal line. These are our reference line. And when we are reading the vernier scale, you read the mark on the vernier scale that is in line with this line here. That is how we read the value of length. For instance, let's say this is zero, one, two, zero, one, two, three. This three millimeter, three point what? Three point this two zero one nine one eight one seven. This is the line I'm using, and it goes with. This is the line I'm using. One nine one eight. This is one seven. That is one two three point one seven millimeter this 3 3.20 3.40 3.60 3.80 and this is 4.0 millimeter if i continue to increase it i will get to 5.0 millimeter and that's how to read length using the micrometer screw gauge. Let's take for the first example, I'm asked to read the diameter of this optical pin. I put the optical pin between the anvil and the spindle and I close this jaw completely, the gap completely, so there will be firm contact. Now let me read the length. What do I have here? What length do you see? I see 1.20 millimeter. If I'm writing that down, I'll record it. As the diameter of the optical pin is 1.20 millimeter. The micrometer scroll gauge is calibrated in millimeters. Let's take another example. I'm asked to read the diameter of the handle of this tuning fork. How would I do that? I will open the knob as usual. I put the handle of the tuning fork between the spindle and the anvil. I keep it here and I close the gap by turning the ratchet. Okay, so it's completely closed. The motor I turn the ratchet, it will not move. But if I turn this knob, I will be forcing it and that could damage this object if it were a flexible object or um, something that can easily break like glass by turning this um, thimble itself it could break the glass that's why the ratchet is provided so when I turn the ratchet and I make sure there's a firm grip here then I can remove my hand from it and take away the object
Now let's read. Okay, I won't let it touch the horizontal platform. Now let's see. Okay. This is my pointer. This is zero millimeter. One, two, three, four. I'd have up to five. I don't have up to five yet. I'm just very close to getting five. One, two, three, four. Four points what? Then I'll read the value I have here. This eight zero. This is eight five. That is four point eight five. This nine zero. This nine five. This is zero. So I have four point eight five millimeters. And that's the value I have as the diameter of the of the handle of the turning fork. That's four point eight five millimeter. I have a diameter of its handle that's 4.85 millimeter. Let's take another example. You can ask to take the diameter of this thermometer. How would I do that? Just the same process as I took the diameter of the handle of the turning fork. I open this. I put the glass between the anvil and the spindle and I use the ratchet. I won't use the thimble so I won't break the glass. I use the ratchet to close the distance between the anvil and the spindle. Good. You see? It's not always necessary to take off the object. You can leave the object there. Let's zoom in to see the distance we have. What reading do you have here? Is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it is beyond six. What exact value is this? Five, six, six point two, six point two zero, two one, two two. Two three. I think two three is better. That's six point two three millimeter. What do I have here? On the main scale, I have zero. No division has been passed. I can still see our horizontal line. This line is all we use to read the vernier scale. On the vernier scale, this is Four zero four five five zero five five six zero. But this is the horizontal line we are using. So after four zero four five five zero, after five zero, we just have one two two smaller. I think it's three. One two three. We just have three smaller divisions. That is 0 0.53. This is 4, 4, 5, 5, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3. 0 0.53 millimeter. So I write that down as the diameter of this wire is 0 0.53 millimeter. Now this reading is of great significant importance while designing electric circuits, the diameter of the wire is the determinant of the current rating of the wire. Hence, the importance of the micrometer screw gauge cannot be overemphasized in physics and engineering as a whole. Let's talk about how you answer examination questions when it comes to taking reading with the venial caliper. Mind you, 
in your examination questions, your vernal caliper will not be completely drawn. The whole instrument will not be drawn on the exam paper. The diagram that will be on the paper will only emphasize on the main scale, the main scale and the vernal scale. Only this part will be shown in all exam questions. Let's take some examples. In your examination questions, your vernal caliper will not be completely drawn. The whole instrument will not be drawn on the exam paper. The diagram that will be on the paper will only emphasize on the main scale, the main scale and the vernal scale. Only this part will be shown in all exam questions. Let's take some examples.